Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crude for YouTuber that's trying to be a long no by. And today we are in yeah, the end of my first Halloween week here on my channel. So I have picked out five Halloween palettes or Halloween inspired palettes that I'm going to do a look with each of, yeah. But why is this so hard? I'm going to do a look with each of the palettes and if you want to know which palettes that I've used up till now I can leave my first video up here and I can leave all the videos that I've done down in the description and today I am using the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld and this palette it's an amazing palette it looks like this. I love the color story. I love the whole packaging about this. I think this is an amazing palette. And today, I I have done quite a few looks with this. And I think I want to do a green, a smoky green cut crease, half cut crease. I think I want to do that at least. Because, do I? Yeah, I actually think that I want to do that. Even though I did a green look in the beginning of this week. Because this palette, I think I have done... Looks with all of the shades. I actually think so. So I think I will do a dark green half cut crease. So i just going to prime my eyes and then we get started. So I think I will do it easy for me. So I will start with woodland in my crease and then take underworld on my outer part i'm crying <laughs> on the outer part and then cut my crease and take forest and this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and it's going to be one of my yeah favorite palettes for this year the first time i wasn't in love with this palette but then I did, and that is not the first time it happens. I did um, Free Looks One palette, and I just fell in love with the palette more for each look I did. And I love it when that happened. Happens. Um, I think it's just so fun to really like feel how the palette is growing on you, and like see how much more you will love it and i think you can see in that video that i'm not like that i'm not like super sure about the palette in the beginning but after every look i started loving it more and more and more and i think the first like why I didn't like it in the beginning was because the shadows aren't like maybe super pigmented as I expected them to be but they are really like blendable so I don't know if I care about that and I did actually plan to have to do Halloween weeks for Halloween weeks Halloween nails for this week I haven't I don't know if you know this, but like fixing your nails, it takes a while and you are kind of restricted when you do it because everything needs to dry and you can't like touch things because then you're going to have nail polish everywhere and it's going to look not that good. So I'm usually trying to like fix my nails when I'm editing because that works, but I haven't. So I excuse my boring nails. And I have tried to figure out like, because I, I like to do my nails, I always do them at home. And I don't know if it makes me relax to do my nails when I'm stressed. Or if I just doing it when I'm not stressed. So I don't know if it is a good sign that I haven't fixed my nails or a bad sign. I have no idea. Or I'm just maybe not inspired to do my nails. I don't know if I want to take this kind of uh, long in here. I 
I don't know if I want to and then I do it so apparently did that give a cool effect I think so so now we're going with the black one the underworld I don't know how long in I want to go with this because I'm going to cut my crease later on and today when I'm filming this it's cinnamon bun day in Sweden or kanelbullen star as you say in Swedish and we at my work everybody was going to get the cinnamon bun did they have any vegan cinnamon buns? no that is like one thing because if you didn't know I went vegan this year I haven't eaten meat for 20 years but this year I been, went completely vegan like I've been eating a lot of vegan foods before but now I haven't eaten I've been eating strictly vegan diet since January 1st and I don't like it like on work and yeah I know that they maybe can't fix every allergy or food preference but I didn't want the cinnamon bun now I will go in with my glitter primer from NYX and I don't know if I really need to cut my crease but I want to do you see anything but like how fun is this to see me cutting my crease yet again like that and then I'm going in with forest this one this is really deep but I want to do a really deep look so I guess that that is good I think that this looks really really good I think I want to take something like in my inner corner maybe this one but I will see I will cut this crease as well and fix my base and then I come back with the finished look and also going to give you a little review of the palette this is the finished look for my face I did use my contour stick from Isadora and on my things like everywhere as a blush I did actually use my moon prism blush from lunar beauty this is has been one of my absolute favorite blushes in my collection my blush absolute favorite blush palette I just had like forgotten about that and then I got a comment on my moon spell video and I was like yeah I do have this palette so in here I did use stargaze this one and as my highlighter I did use Ozone from Nabla. On my wash line I did use Get Paid from Colourpop. And on my lips I am not... I do like the colour but it is one lip clay from Kaleidos in Ru Rubino. Rubino? And as you see this is a really deep red one but it's really like hard to get even. It's not a favorite of mine, but I do really like the color, so... And yes, of course, I want to take a dark red till, till <laughs> to my green eyes. And in my inner corner, I actually did pop this one. I don't know if that was the best choice, but here we are. So yeah, this is my look with the Meet Me in the Underworld from Loose Cosmetics. And this palette... As I said in the beginning of this video, this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and I was, the first time I used it, I wasn't like super impressed. People did rave about this so much, it sold out and I bought it on restock and people did rave about it so much, I was expect, expecting wonders. I was expecting like the first few trees and palettes from Kaleidos. I got this home, it wasn't that. But then I did, I did a first impression, I wasn't super impressed. 
then I don't know if I did just a look with it and then I did maybe three looks one, pa one palette and yeah with every look I did I just fell in love more and more with this palette so I think it's really really good I do like the theme of it I like the colors I like everything I think the colors are even I like that the black is really good it's not like pitch black that is maybe with all do we have some had something on my screen so it looked like I had some black hair on my face I where was I <laughs> I think the colors are good but they need a little bit more of a build-up if you compare it to like another in the brand it needs a little bit more build-up but I think this is kind of similar to like a normal brand eyeshadow the few that I have um, but yeah, I think this needs a little bit more build up, but it's nothing that isn't workable. Like you can build all the shadows up and they look really, really good. And the shimmers are really, really good. They work without a glitter primer. And yeah, the only thing that bugs me a little bit, I wish that this was a shimmer as well, because then it would have been half the palette shimmer and half the palette mattes. But yeah, because I think like... Okay, I can't never remember this. I think it's these two that are pretty similar. Or these two. It's two of these four shades that are pretty similar. But like the other shadows I like so, so much. And they're really easy to build on each other. And you can deepen down a shimmer with a darker shimmer or with a matte. And I do like to do that when I'm doing looks. And yeah. I do really like that palette and I think it's fun to use it and I think like it is a really good palette and it's going to be in my top of my favorite palettes of this year. And yeah, that was all for this video. I do hope that you like it and I hope that you like this week. When I'm filming this I have put up two parts and you seem to like it which makes me really happy. It's really fun to do themes I think and this more like a grungier look i do really love to do them so yeah uh if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye